Hi guys, so I'm back. You would have seen the the new kit and I'm going to work in this journal. Now, I was going to gather up my pages before I turned the camera on, but I didn't, did I? So I need to find, well, I've got a whole mess of papers up here. Just a minute. Oopsie. Let's look at these. I want to find some, I'm just off to the side here. It's a bit of a mess. I need to find some papers. I might use that one to slip in as well. Um, some of these are broken paper. I might put that one in sideways. See, I tend to, when I make my paper packs, I tend to keep the broken ones. Um, sometimes I can't get them out whole. That one's whole. I'll put that one. See if that one will fit. Um, now, Lulu came in and said, oh, I love that with your painted papers in there. She said, um, are you selling that? And I said, oh, probably. And then she's like, well, can you keep it? And I'm like, okay. Um, so I'll have to check if she's serious or not. <laughs> if she really wants to keep it or if it's for sale. I don't know when it's done, but it's got a long way to go yet. I'm just looking here for papers. This is good paper to put in as well. Oh, I might put that in a bigger one. I like the typo paper, so there we go. I wanted some invoices, but I haven't got any invoices here, I don't think. Um, maybe I'll just pause the video a second and get one. Okay, I grabbed a few. Right, I like this one. It had the, um, the falcon or the hawk, Aquila. I think it's a hawk, Aquila translates to. And then I found this one too, I might put that one in so we'll just fold that and we'll fold that one because we don't want all printed things and i will fold this one like this i might keep the other side of it actually fold it like that did i put the video back on i did i'll fold that one like that and the same with this one because they're too wide and I'll decide whether I want to fold it in or have it flip out. Then we've got this page is good. Uh, this page can be folded like that. And then I was, might attach that one. I think I've got plenty of pages here though. So let's have a look. So do I want to break up the scene scenery here shall we say with this see no I don't like that I'll tell you why because I've got that there so let's just see here so we're just going to slowly go through and put in extra pages I think I like that I may have liked it more without or maybe I would like to see this one. Oh, now this one. I probably should have folded it differently. But anyway. So when they're shorter, you just stagger them. And that's better, you see. I didn't like the text next to each other. Um, I haven't put any plain pages in now. What plain pages do I have? I don't have any tea dyed papers in that one. I'm sure you're telling me you should have been organised before you turned the video on. Um, yes, I should have. Here we go. Here's a tea dyed paper. I'm just going to fold that one like that too because... Okay, we'll put that somewhere. Maybe we'll put that one here. No, I don't want... See, that's the scan tea dyed. I don't like to put those next to each other. I'll put... Um, not that one. Maybe this one has a different sort of colouring to it. Now I know it's going to be long, but we're just going to slide that in there. And it's good, perfect height. So that's good. Now how are these? So when you stitch your pages in, keep your um, staggering going the way it should be. Okay, so... That's there. 
We'll do some decorating. We need to have something in here, I think. We can have this lovely old book page. It's too big, so we'll have to trim it down. Now you see, I've decided it's going to be a journal. I think I'll keep that bottom edge because it's all right. Oh, it looks about right. It's an okay height, that one. That's good. Is that where I was putting it? Now here. Put this. Okay. Or did I actually? I think I prefer to put this between those two. I've got the two tea dye, but that one is um, quite a bit. It's a bit different as a pattern, I think. So that's okay. And then here we might. I don't want scripty and scripty together, so I might put this one. I think I might prefer this one here. Yeah, I do. And then we'll put that one in there. And then I don't think we need the other one. And that's a lot of pages. It's pretty fat now. That's the centre. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I might just sort of clip these a little bit together just so they don't move about. So my fast flow video is going up on Tuesday. Um, I sort of decided with the lady, with uh, um, uh, Joey, um, to um, just, you know, because uh, some our uh, Gales, I think, I haven't watched Gales, but I just saw the notification. I've got my iPad in front of me here. Um, and hers has gone up today. So, yeah, mine's going to go up on Tuesday. So that way you have like the videos coming in through the week. See, just clipping them together like that just makes it easier. And this is going to be really cute, I think, this journal. Um, and I might make a cover for it. I might make a cover for it. So I don't want to trim that off. So it's going to be that big, the journal. This is just a almost like a, um, what do you call it? Like a signature cover sort of thing. I'll put that aside. I might use that in my collaging. And I need to put some glue under there. That's popping up. Okay. And I might I like might bind this Midori style. So what I think I might do, which is a bit of an improvisation, I hadn't planned that, is I'm going to put my holes in and stitch it together. So it's not all moving about now if you wanted to sew on it with your sewing machine you wouldn't do this step now you'd do it afterwards but i'm 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 not sewing it on my sewing machine so i think i'll use this color i don't know why uh, i'm not even going to measure where the center is i'm just going to eyeball it i'm just trying to find my favorite needle sorry about the noise Favorite needle. It's here. That's not it, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. And I'm, oh, this is a Japanese screw punch. Just pop the little circles out of the. Okay. Um, so that, yeah, this is a Japanese screw punch. Um, and what you do, I'm just eyeballing it because I'm not stitching it in, into a book or anything. It's going to go in Midori style. And you just go like this. And it cuts. But my, I think mine's going blunt. Um, so I just do a bit. And also I'm going through a lot of pages. So I just do a bit. And then grab my book all. And 
just press, twist it around and press and just lift and then that does the does it a bit more for me. It's so easy. Okay, chuck that in there. I don't cut this. I don't there's no measuring. You don't cut it. So that way um it um you know you can cut it afterwards and I'm gonna go in this way. I didn't do a big, very big hole there. I normally go in the other way, but I want to tie it on the outside, so go that way. In the hole there. So you go center, top or bottom, and then right shoot right across. There. This is, this is the three hole pamphlet and then you go back down and you make sure your tail this is one tail and the this tail is on the other side of the the um thread and then you pull it tight and then you tie it so it's over the top and then i can cut that off you see and i didn't waste any or not much and you tie it over the top of this so it's it doesn't move you see and then you can trim it a little bit like that and how quick was that so we have our pages bound together and then the, all the fun can begin it's not a very big journal but if you do the Midoriya style you can make one like a cover that takes two signatures and you can also put the elastic over here um, and then on this side of the elastic you slide in your other signature and then you've got two signatures it's really easy but we don't have a cover for it yet because I haven't decided. Because it sort of just came together. Just like that. But it's fun. And I like the papers. So now what are we going to do? Um, love that, you see. Let's just have a look at it. That's a good thing to do. Just look at it. There. We already I need to put something here. Love that. Like that. That's the centre. And then that opens out. That's great. And we've got this one. Look at all the pages. So many pages. And that opens out. I haven't decided about that yet. And this will open out. I've got to attach something to that. I was thinking I might attach this page. I could do that. But then I've got two script pages together, so we'll decide that. And then that clips out. We won't cut that off. And then that's the back. Cool. And then I've got to find a spot for this. And this one opens here. So let's just clip that there so we remember what end it opens. Otherwise, I'll stick the wrong end down. And that way I've used up all these envelopes that I had started creating and I didn't know what I was going to do with them. For example, this one could attach. No, I don't like that. So we'll see. I was thinking about attaching it there, but I feel like... Mm, no, I don't want to do that. So we'll see about that one. It could attach... It could flip. It could be a flip at the back. I might like it to flip at the back, I think. I think we'll do that. So, what will I hinge it with? I could hinge it with a piece of tea dyed paper here that's left over. Although that's not, might not be very strong. Although I, inside, I maybe I'll hinge it with washi tape. Oh, what about if I hinge it with this? Is this going to be wide enough? I could. Some painted paper. So let's cut that. Maybe a little bit shorter. I'm going to hinge it with this. It's very sticky. Hmm. Can't get the thing off.
Okay. So hinge it with this. Hopefully it's straight-ish. Okay. And then fold it up. Put it on here. Actually, that's not the right way to it. Put it like this. going to put that there because that page I'm going to hinge the two pages together oh and that's not where I'm hinging it what a goose I'm hinging it here I'm sure you're all screaming at me that's it so left a little gap so now I need to put something there yes I like that so I could put some more painted paper there. Why not? Can I get it off? Yes, I can. There we go. to make it fold and I'll grab my bone folder and just make it fold and it will soften and there we go that's it okay so I think here I'm going to do some sort of um some sort of just a minute the word's not coming to me Some sort of tabby thing. I just wanted to see what I had here in my pre-made tabby stuff. See if there's anything like that really textural bit there. I could, I could really like that in the other way with the fluffy bit going on the outside. Put that there. Um, I might just cut it off so I can. I'll cut it a bit bigger than what I actually want. So that way, if I don't want it, no, not that one. this one no none of those then oh well I don't want those then okay let me just see in these other tabs oops no whale tails let's have a look at the whale tails oh here's some green oh I like the book page I don't wanted something a bit more exciting I felt like but I can certainly use that oh no I quite like that okay that works well I'll do that one let's lock it in we won't waste any more time with that doesn't offend what's on the other side um, I feel like maybe here just a little sort of label some sort of label so that's you know someone and that someone could be Lulu who knows um, can 
you know, write something. It might be a little holiday journal or travel journal, I should say, not a holiday journal. Um, yeah, and you might want to write um, get in there or, or France or Paris, whatever, whatever the date is. So I was thinking, I wanted to see, I like these, um, not those little mini ones, but I like the, um, these embroidery design ones. I was thinking that could be quite nice there. I have a pattern there, that pattern. And that one. I think I like that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that one in to see what else there is. Oh. Girlanda. No, I'll do that one. Or there's these colourful ones. No. Okay, a decision has been made. Okay, so I'll put that one there. I'm going to fall off my chair if I don't sit, sit on it properly. And now let's have a start looking at this. Oh, I like that there. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I have videos for these. Um, hmm, I don't remember what I called them. Did anybody remember? I don't remember. They're super fast snippets anyway to make. So I'm going to glue that down. And then on the back, because I've stitched it onto magazine paper, I'm just going to add, and I've got little strips here left over from tearing down my papers, so I'm just going to add a little strip just fold it about where the height or length that you want it put it there perfect make sure that doesn't that's not going to go anywhere that's not going to come off okay now here we could have maybe now I do have some where are my scraps I'll put them over here um, I even have a scrap of that oh I like that I feel like it's meant to go that way I don't know why I know it's a very busy page Oh, it's so clashy, I like it. What about a little bit of... Um, I don't think I've got any in here. bit of I think I do one little bit of book page behind it so let's just I know it's busy but I like busy I like it I can't help myself I like the busy it's not for everyone but I like it oh that side's better okay when you're sticking down your book pages I'm sure it's fairly obvious but see this side which is the side I was going to stick down is got lots of blank and that side look at that it's intensely written and I really like that I feel like the book page kind of breaks up the background a little bit and then I'm going to add this there I might even add even just oh it doesn't really matter because the flower is going to cover it so I'm going to put that there a bit of glue there where did my wet one go? It was here before. There it is. I think it's dry now. Just dry that off. 
Oh, a bit of napkin, napkin has come off. It's okay. And then I'm going to glue my flower on. Oops. Love that flower. Super busy page. Another thing you could add is some sort of label there if you wanted to. So then you could write on it like a big label. Um, where's my book? Just to, oh, a doily. I don't know what doilies I've got in here, not many because these were less left over from when I went on holidays, but like a little doily, not this one because it's too big, but you know, some sort of little doily could be really pretty on there for writing on as well, because it's a page that not much writing is gonna happen. Or it's a spot where you could stick a little photograph. How about that? It's a doily. Um, or otherwise, a nice big label like one of these. I know it covers it up a lot, but does, does it matter? Because you can print it out again. Something like that would be nice. That. But I'm not going to stick it on. That can be Lulu's choice or if, if she says sell it, Mum. I like that. Oh, I do like that one. Mm -hmm. Well, no, nope, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to make that decision. But I'm giving, I'm giving suggestions. Okay, so we can turn it over. Hopefully it doesn't stick. So that's a nice writing page there. We could do something here. Okay, so let's see what we have. I did tidy up my table. It wouldn't seem like it because I seem to be flapping about a bit, but I did tidy up. I wanted to see in here, I've just gathered everything up. See, this is how I tied it up. I clipped it all together. This sort of thing I was imagining. This. I think that this kit works really well with the painted kit. This is really nice. But anyway, I was thinking maybe we'll just take the clip off so we can have a look what's happening. I think I might make, oh, I'm going to make a journal card flippy thing, a journal flippy thing. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tear this. I don't want to tear the bird's beak off. But I don't know if the beak is going to be involved in this. I might tear that one down as well because I really like that. So when you don't have a lot of writing spaces, because people say, oh, where do I write? Well, first of all, it depends if someone's, a big writer like I'm not a big writer but in my travel journal thing that I did um, I was able to I'm going to tear this off down here and that can be something else um, I was able to give myself um, writing space if I didn't have enough by adding these flippity jibbity things to it so um, how cute is that? that would be so pretty well that's an option uh, okay so I want to glue this I think I don't actually need it to be super, super duper um, thick. I think I'm going to glue it to some sort of page for writing. And I'm thinking I might grab this background page that I had. And I'm, oh, I have to tear that off, actually. I do have to tear that. I was going to tear it afterwards, but I'm going to tear it now. Because I want the... Oh, no, actually, you know what I should use? I know what I'm going to use. Not that. I've changed my mind. I'm going to use some avocado dyed paper that was sent to me by Catherine. From Creative Catherine. Here we go. She sent this to me. And I really like it. And I don't do avocado dye, dyeing. I, you know, it's just all... I'd love to, but it's all... Excuse the noise. It's all too much. Thank you so much, Catherine. Um, 
if I remember, Catherine, oh, I hope I remember. I should link your shop in the description box is what I should do. Now, I need to think about this. This is going to go on here like this. Can you see? So I need to put this on this side because I'm going to have it a fo as a fold out. And this idea uh, came from Carol, from Carol Laws. She did this. She does like, well, she does. When you, when you see her journal flip throughs, she often has journal cards that she's made that have the bit that flips out. And I really like that. I think it's very clever. And so if I'm honest, I got that idea from Carol. So I'm just going to tear it about here. I don't want it actually, actually maybe I'm going to fold it first because I don't want it to actually go, you don't want to show the, the white of your thing so like that. Thinking what I want to, I don't mind seeing the the lovely avocado dyed paper. So now, let me just put this on here like this, so I can remember. I've got to go on that line there, and I can tear off the avocado dyed paper like so. Or you could, you know, fold it three times. So all I can, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that bit off as well. Let's have a look. That's too much. A bit more. Let's have a look. Yes. So I'm just bringing my avocado dyed paper down below the image. So that way um, it's just very pretty. And you don't, and when you fold it, you've got the fold, you don't see any white of the image that's on the top. And now this needs to just do better for creasing. And this will be tipped in here. Oh, is it too big? I need to fold that over just a little bit more. Tiny bit. There we go. And I might just fold that back a little bit there as well. Okay. So that fits better just yes and then it will flip out like that and then you can write on that side and then you pull it out and you can write on that side okay that's good so let's do that and what will we tip it in with we could tip it in with this Or maybe some washi tape. Well, I had some washi tape here. Let's just see where it's gone. I could use that one. And, oh, no, I don't want to use that washi tape. Okay. I'm going to use what washi tape? Maybe this one. That one. Or this one. That one. Okay. And I need to run this washi tape over my um, glue just to make sure because it's sometimes it's not that sticky. So, yep, this is going to be a bit of a process doing this um, little journal because um, I'll share most of it. I might do a little bit off camera if I'm taking a long time, but I will share most of it. So it'll be a few parts till it's finished. So we're going to put that there. And I think it's always helpful, especially to people who are new to journaling. I've just put that there. Hopefully it's okay. Um, to see a start to finish, really. And on that side, yes, I think I'll use this. Oh, no, maybe not. I might use that one. That one. The wider one. To the lady beetle this one's quite sticky oh i need to take a little bit off the end here okay and just stick it on there maybe i'll stick it more over there okay isn't that cute i like that 
So this is, I don't know, this is Infilm. I don't know. I don't know what the brand is. Okay, so what have we done so far? We've added a tab here and I've got very busy pages happening. Got the tab there, that's a tuck. And then we've added this flip here. And that's for extra writing space. And I'm gonna put some, do something here as well in a minute. And then that's a writing space, we'll leave that. I've gotta do something there. Plenty to do in here. And we've also added this here with, it's a flip as well at the back. So we're just gonna slowly work our way through and just do bits and pieces. Um, I did love this bird, let me have a look. I do quite like that. If I were to tear that down, let me just have a look and see what I think. I think I might make that just a little pocket. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this scrap piece. Or do I have another scrap piece? I like that scrap piece. I might have one that I find is less interesting, like this one. I think I'm just going to glue that there to strengthen the top. I'm not even going to, and, I'm, and then I'm going to glue that there as a little pocket. So you're taking away a bit of journaling space, but you're also adding a little bit because then you can put a tag in there. I think that's fun. Oops, now is that the top? Yes. Getting glue everywhere, so it'll just glue to the um, <laughs> thing and won't be a pocket anymore. There we go. Not sticky. And I need... So this is how I work. Like, it's not all planned. It just happens. It's just things pop into your head and you think about it for a second and you think, yep, good idea or not a good idea or like it or don't like it. And I might do, which is not a good idea because it's wet, but I'm gonna do a little snip, this little one. Oh, did it. Sometimes it doesn't like it because it's wet. So it looks like it's part of the paper, but it's actually a little pocket for a tag, cute. And we haven't done anything here but you could do writing here. You could gesso on here a little bit and then write. You could do drawing, um, you know, painting or whatever. So maybe I should just leave that. Maybe I should leave it. Maybe I should just put a little piece. Oh, I quite like a little piece of paper there. Maybe, why don't I do that? As I said, things just happen. Just leave the rest, just leave it. I could put a little piece of, um, just a minute, let me just tear this a little bit. Oh, not like that. I'll have to puzzle it if I decide to use it. A little detail on there. That's not quite long enough, that one. But I do like it, except I ripped it. I might put that on there. Or, no, I think I'll put that on there, but it's ripped, so I'll just have to stick it back together. And the little details like that, I think just, um, it does take a little bit of writing space away, but it does um, just sort of... Um, make it jump out at your eye that you can pull that piece out if you know what i mean so like you can just it tells you to pull that sort of thing so that's that and that's going to close like that now i think i might have something I just saw this piece of folded paper here. I think it'd be nice to just have a piece of something that folds down to write on. Maybe this piece is a bit wider. Yeah, I like that. Um, put that on it. I quite like 
that idea. Maybe so I don't. Well, no, I'm not losing anything on that side, really. So maybe put it like this. Let's see. And... on there I've never done anything like that before and then that will fold down put a tab on it fold down I could glue this in I think that's a little bit crazy though I don't know not going to work because I don't want to cover that okay now I think I'll put that on there oh do you know what I could put just put some sort of I don't know I'm just thinking about it it's coming to me I'm going to put this on here because I like that and I'm wondering do I want to just make a little pocket have little some sort of belly band and slide that in there like that could be good because then you could add more behind it if you yes I think I'll put a belly band because you could add more behind it um, if you want more writing space because if I just stick that down then you're just limited to that whereas I do this then that you can have more so let's get some glue I need to stick it a little bit further in actually so that way it's not right at the edge and I don't think I put my glue in the right spot here. Oh yes I have. Okay. And then that will slide in there. I think I'll just slide it in like that but I'm going to put a little tab on it I think. If there's room for one, there might not be room for one. Put it on there. Okay, so that's just a cute little journaling spot. It's going to tuck behind there. That's cute. I like that. And, and the other things can tuck there as well. I just need to make sure it sticks to the page. Okay. So I think I'll stop there for now um, because I'm starting to lose the plot a little bit. I think I might put that over there. Excuse me, I just said I was stopping and then I'm just... This is what happens. You pick up a piece of paper and you're like, oh, that could look nice over there. I'll just check it out. And you're like, oh, yeah, I like that. But then here I have, which I don't like, is that white bit. So I just grab this and I'll just get rid of that. Oh, helps if you put your ruler on the right way. There we go. Do I like that? Maybe I don't. I 
kind of like it. Yes. Using up my bits. And then this, I think I'll make it into a nice long journal tag. And see, even something like that might even be prettier. In, oh, it is. That's what's going to go in there. I'm just going to make that into a tag. So, just cut off the bottom. I said I was going. I said I was leaving you alone, but you know, what happened? And this will go somewhere else. It's not a problem. But I think that is, I like that all together. So, let's just, I'm just going to quickly make this into a tag. I'll glue it onto there, I think. Uh, do I want, I think I want to strengthen it as well. I'll make it thicker. Where's my glue? Yeah, I've gone through quite a bit of glue today. Now, I'll just quickly put some glue in the center. I've done the edges. off here it's pretty sticky okay and then I'm going to glue it to its backing. Just trim it off. Snip off the corners. And that will just slide in there. Yeah, I like that. And then you can put something else in there. I could even have both in there, really, because it's a big, it's got a lot of space. But anyway, I might decide to put the other one somewhere else. So there we go. That's all I'm going to do today. So we did this bit here, added a tab tab there, tab uh, label there, flip here, pocket here. So let me just show you that this is a pocket. Cut. Let me pull something out. Oh, I don't have anything at hand, do I? I've got one of these. Do one of these fit? Oh, they do. So there's a pocket there. This flips out and has nice big writing space. I didn't do anything there. You could stick a photograph down there. Um, and then here, pretty belly band and these. I've slipped those in there for now. I'm definitely going to leave that one, but this one might go somewhere else. Actually, it could go over here. 
Oh, there we go. That's where that's going to live. Um, okay, good. And then we need to continue on. And then here, that flip, that still needs to be decorated. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you like the new kit. Um, it's a bit wild and a bit bit of fun that Steph did for me. And um, and I will see you again tomorrow for uh, Roxy's weekly challenge. And do, uh, if I'm honest, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we will see. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.